wonderful to be in the beautiful city of uh, Thessaloniki. You know, this reminds me when I was uh, a young child that my favorite time of year is when school finished and the summer holiday uh, started. And it's really nice to come here to this park and see so many smiles on children's faces. Because that's the way it should be. That's the way it is in many places, but it's not in every place. Too many times in these children's lives, it wasn't a smile, but it was despair. That they've gone through very difficult and traumatic times. Now, I'm a father of three, and I spend my lifetime trying to protect them and keep them safe. But it's not only my obligation, it's all of our obligation to make sure that not only our children are safe, but every child in this world is safe. And sadly, that is not the case. So I want to thank UNICEF, the city of Thessaloniki, the United Nations High Commissioner of Refugees for shining a light on this very important issue. They say that this year, displaced persons will go from 100 million to 117 million. It's clearly trending in the wrong direction. Now I want you to think about the determination and the bravery it is for a mother to put her two-year-old on her shoulder and take her four-year-old by her hand and get into an inflatable to try to come to a place of freedom. They're not coming here to destroy someone's life. They're not coming here to take someone's job. They're fleeing community violence. They're fleeing war. They're fleeing oppression. Now I am the child of immigrants. My father was an orphan. And my mother and father left a small village, dirt poor, no money, no education, couldn't speak English. They left dirt floors, no running water, no electricity, but they were able to come to the United States and rebuild their lives. And they were accepted. And their son was able to become the United States Ambassador to Greece. My family was given a second chance in life. This is what we should do here. These poor children have hurt nobody. We need to make sure that they have opportunities. That every day they're able to smile like this. This is something that should speak to our ethos. Our filotimo, our calosini. Now this is a beautiful place, Greece. This is a land of democratic values. This is a land of personal freedoms. As Zorba said, this is where God kissed these islands with sun. We need to make sure that they have opportunities to go to all democratic places. No one is trying to go to Russia. No one is trying to go to North Korea. No one's trying to go to Venezuela. No one's trying to go to Iran. They're trying to come to democratic places where mothers and fathers can raise their children with freedoms and values and principles and have an opportunity to have a better life, a life of safety. And we need to make sure that every family has an opportunity to do this. So for those that have shown up at our shores, whether it be Greece, whether it be the United States, whether it be Germany or Italy, let's integrate them. This is not only a selfless act, it's the right thing to do for civil society, it's the right thing to do for our economy. Greece is a place right now where they have difficulty finding workers in so many sectors, in tourism, in construction, in healthcare. Let's help integrate them with jobs, let's send their kids to school. I'm a very, very proud Greek American. Someone could be a very proud Syrian Greek. Or they can be a very proud Nigerian Greek, like my friend Yanis. Or they can be a Ukrainian Greek. Or we can show them some love and hospitality until they're able to go back to their homes. But let's make sure if I can give you an example, their homes is a Ukraine that's safe and whole and free of war and entirely Ukrainian. Again, we have an obligation to make sure that everyone has an opportunity to live in a place that is safe and that these children can smile every day, not just today. Thank